everybody. I just uh, redid this makeup look. And um, if you'd like to learn how to do this, uh, sunset with gray and um, a rust color, a little touch of gold. If you'd like to learn how to do this look, which you can achieve out of your oh half off naked palette, even though I'm using my um, pan that palette, I am now using the colors that you will easily find in the naked palette. And that palette is half off. So I thought I'd throw this look up since I know a lot of people have this particular palette available to themselves. And if you don't, I am seeing it for half off everywhere and people are snubbing their noses at it. They've even, Ulta's got an extra 20% off on it. And so does Sephora. So, you know, can't get better than that. It's a look that can take you through all of fall. And if you want to, you can go to your holiday parties in it. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. Tell me what you think, you know. Again, no lashes. Although I think this look would look really, really nice with some lashes. Thanks for watching this video. Alan, thank you to everybody who has subscribed. My cup has run over. I, I just have complete gratitude over the fact that, you know, people are starting to watch my videos. So, you know, I'm just grateful. Okay, this is Prestige. This is a foundation, but I am using it to set my eyeshadow and as a under eye concealer. They don't make a color dark enough for me. But y'all, this is Dollar Store, 99 cent store at its best. I'm not even gonna bother using an expensive concealer because I'm not going to purchase one. So there it is. Let, let the record be straight. So, try to, try to give you the best lighting I can. See that? It's way too light for me for a um, regular color, but as a highlighter and a concealer. Hold on, check me, boo. <laughs> <laughs> alrighty now, alrighty now. Today I'm gonna do an encouraging talk with, with us. Um, I've been watching the news and ripped to all those Jewish saints. You know, one was a Holocaust survivor. I don't know if I told you, but I lived with a Holocaust survivor and she was my dearest friend till she died at, um, at um, 97 years old. I, I give money to the Jewish and Christian Alliance. And I think the reason why I've been so close to so many Jewish people as an adult is because when I was a child, my father was off doing his own thing, not thinking about raising kids. The um, Jewish Christian Alliance would take me places and, you know, hang out with me and be my dad. So um, suffice it to say... This thing hit me in a place where I was like, no, I, I you know, because I know I sat and listened to stories of encampments in um, Germany and dealing with the Russian soldiers. I mean, stories that you don't hear because my best friend was a 97 year old lady because I am a nerd and I don't connect with too many people. So that's who I managed to connect for. And I was grateful for the connection. When she died, because she was 97 and a billionaire, I was the only one crying at her funeral. So, <clears throat> you know, because I was a nerd who couldn't possibly connect with a whole bunch of different people. So, um, and then when they said there was a survivor who um, got taken out in this calamity, that again hit me really, really really like woo why 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 okay so I am going to use this gray color here and we just gonna get started here so I wanted to talk about you know what kind of conclusion I came about I know most people 
are Jewish. They're they're a minority population, but um, yeah, they did they did um, fight through with the devil and give us Jesus. I'm showing up at funerals crying for my friend, and somebody tapped my shoulder and be like, you know, you know, girl, you ain't you ain't as broke as you think you are anymore. But um, that's the kind of love you know to think you know not not much, guys. The billionaire didn't make me a millionaire. She just gave me a few things as if she was a poor person. She just gave me a few things that she knew was special and intimate in our relationship and in our chats about the war, which was um, that, that horrible thing that happened to Jewish people. In our talks and everything, she just knew that there were some certain things that would mean more to she and I. She had outlived all her children. Aries palette, I'm using this color here as my transition color. But, um, you know, this is a call to love because we can't control what people are doing to the ones we love, nor can we control what they're doing to ourselves. Now I'm gonna take this um, burgundy here and go underneath the, um, the um, orange russet color. We can't control what these nuts are doing. We don't know when, you know, the, the devil gonna get a hold of these fools under the influence of somebody who doesn't value any human life except for, you know, their own, you know. And under the auspices of a lie. I mean, the person who went in and killed those people in the Jewish temple believed a lie. They believed that um, Jewish people were some kind of scourge instead of the the people who lovingly um, kept God's law and brought us Jesus. Let me use this color here for my to darken up my gray um, and um, put a new kind of hate in it or a white supremacy. Um, white supremacy is from the pit of hell and we can't allow it to infect us is what I'm saying. Don't let white supremacy infect you you know whatever it's gonna do don't let it infect you because um we only have one life and after we live that life we die and go to heaven and hell so i personally am going to choose to love more you know i'm gonna i already give whatever i can to the um the christians and jews my money goes specifically to help people who are jewish move to um, Israel, you know, because a lot of people, they don't see themselves. You know, sometimes when you're in bondage, you know, we all have our own bondage. I might not be able to deal with my bondages, but sometimes I think I can help somebody else with their bondages. It's like their bondages don't seem as bad to me as my bondages. Like Jewish people who want to get home, I'm like, you know, I think I could chip in and help with that. It's, it's, uh, we're coming up on the Christmas time. I'm going in with my gray color here. So it's a great time to concentrate on love. So since the devil trying to take it to that next level, um, God always raises up a standard against the devil. I'm going to take this gold here and put it in the center of my eyelid. You know, actually, I think I'll, I'll go in a little warmer first. I'm going to go in with this color here, which is a little warmer. And um, it's like my rosy brown bronze color. This color that I hit pan in there. And I'm going to go into the little creasy area. Yeah, right there. I like this thing. I'm going to take this color here after I blend out i used a sponge and you know sponges don't blend very well so i'm gonna take this right here and blend out my shadows you know so i'm praying jesus make me a channel of love where there's hate because um that person in fear turn turn their i mean the nightmare is over for the jewish people who who pass but the guy who caused them harm his nightmare just beginning, you know. The same stuff that caused him to hate others definitely hates him. So his nightmare just begins. And without the intervention of Jesus, 
He will never get out of that nightmare. Take this bronzy color here and carve out the bras, brows. Because we know me, I do the brows afterwards. Y'all have to just sit up here and watch me look at my Pamela Anderson S with not a brow to see. And that's my eye look for today. I like it. I think I want to darken up that um, uh, under eye. I'm using this black here, going in with a little black. I think I want to darken this just a little bit more and darken up that navy there. See the difference? I think it, it pops just a little bit more. When you get mature, you don't want to overdo it, but um. But I want this look to be as fiery as it can. You know what I'm saying? Jesus, make me a channel of love where there's hate. Make me a channel of light where there's a darkness. Um, I bless the people who were, even in their old age, still going to temple. I hope this doesn't cause um, older people to fear that they won't be able to get out of calamity so they can't go out and enjoy their old age like um, younger people because they're being targeted. I hope that doesn't come up. You know, I would appreciate it if we all try to figure out ways to help each other to the extent we can. Even if it's just speaking up. We're in an era where people who hate are trying to infect us with their hate. And even if we respond by hating them, we'd still be responding in hate. So let's respond in love. And I'm talking about true love because, you know, let's face it. Um, if you ever had kids, sometimes you lovingly stop them from doing something wrong, you know, because you don't want them to bear the consequences of that evil life. So you will say, you know, no, that's not what you're going to do. You're not going to take folks' toys. You're not going to um, be abusive. You're not going to beat up your, your friends and all that so we've got to show that kind of love right now it's imperative i will finish my face and show you my complete look so here's my finished look of the day i actually had to redo it today because um i was in such a hurry after i got ready i had to go but here it is another fall Look. Oh, thank you for watching this video to the very end. Jesus loves you. I love you with all that Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful.